Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a sales funnel within ClickFunnels 2.0. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I do assume that you know how to set up products and also that you know how to use the page builder. And if you don't, that's okay. I have videos on both those topics, links in the description down below. But let's go ahead and start building. So we're gonna come to funnels right here. And also before we actually get building, this is the funnel we're gonna go ahead and build. So we're gonna have a sales page slash order form. And then we'll go into a one-time offer. If they say yes to the offer, they'll go straight to the order confirmation page. If they say no to the one-time offer, they'll be presented with a downsell option. And whether they say yes or no to that, they'll go to the order confirmation page. So a simple funnel. But if you understand these concepts, you could go ahead and add additional OTOs and downsells and things like that to really create some complicated funnels if you want to. Now let's go ahead and click on create a funnel right here in the top right-hand corner. And there are funnels already designed that you could go ahead and select, like there's book funnels and cart funnels and so on. But we're gonna go ahead and build this one from scratch because if you can build it from scratch, then you could also you know, use one of these pre-built funnels and manipulate it to suit your needs. So let's go ahead and start from scratch and we can go ahead and name our funnel. And so I'll just call it demo funnel. We could also change the funnel path URL so you can change it to whatever suits your needs. I'm gonna go ahead and create the funnel. And then we get into the funnel workflow builder. So the first thing we need to go ahead and do is add a page. So we'll click on the plus button right here. And we're gonna go ahead and add a page. And there's a bunch of different templates you can go ahead and choose from. And you can see that we're right now on the opt-in, but we might wanna to go to like the sales page or maybe an order form page in order to select the type of page that we want for a particular funnel. Now, you can also create one from scratch, which is what we're gonna do in this video. But I just wanted to show you that there are a bunch of pre-built pages as well. So if you want to save time or use one that you've already built, you could go ahead and select it from here. Like you could come to my funnel pages and you could go ahead and use one of the pages that you already created for another funnel that you may have. And that way you're not starting from scratch. But we're gonna go ahead and create new page and then we're gonna go ahead and name it. I'm just gonna call this main product. And we can add a description for our page. And this description is just for us to keep our pages straight. So main product sales page. And then we could go ahead and change the URL for this particular product. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it main. We can select our style guide and I have another video on the style guide if you're unfamiliar. Go ahead and check out that video. But for my case, I wanna use the default style since I want it to match my other page styles and keep everything consistent. Index and search engines, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. So that way we might get a little free SEO traffic to our sales funnel page. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on create page. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit this page right now. So I'll click on edit. And I'm gonna create just a very basic page because again, I have videos on the page builder and on different elements and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna cover that in great detail in this video. We're just going to get a functional funnel so you can see how the funnels can be built and how your customers would flow through a funnel. So we're gonna say buy the main product below. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a checkout element right here. So there's our checkout element. I'm gonna go ahead and click the gear icon. I need to go ahead and select what product I'm selling on this order form or this checkout element. So I'll go ahead and select my main product right here. And then I also wanna add an order bump to this order form. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another product and I'm gonna add my bump product here. Then I wanna click on this gear icon and tick this box to make sure that it is an order bump. And then I'll go ahead and update included product right there. And I cover all this in detail in my checkout element video. So I know I'm moving really fast right here, but I have another video that goes into great detail on all this stuff that I'm doing right this second. And I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on shipping options. I'm gonna turn that off because my products are digital and don't require any shipping. And that should work for this particular page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And then I'm gonna back out of here. And the next page we wanna go ahead and build is an OTO page. So I'm gonna go ahead and construct that real quick. We'll go ahead and click on the plus button again. We'll create a new page. I'm gonna use the template that I just created for my main product. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And this one will be the OTO product. And of course I can write my description. I can go ahead and change my URL path. So I'm gonna just call this OTO. And then I could change my style guide and also choose to index it in search engines. In this case, since it's an OTO page, I don't want it included in a search engine search. So I'm gonna leave it turned off. 
and we'll go ahead and create a page. And then we're gonna go ahead and edit this page. So I'll click to edit it. And I'm gonna go ahead and update the headline. So by the OTO below. And then we'll go ahead and update this order form here. And I wanna go to my product select and edit my product and add a product. And this time I'm going to be adding my OTO product. So I'll go ahead and select product here. And that is good right there. Now, since this is an OTO page, the checkout element will automatically know that it's an OTO page. And so it's going to adjust how it looks and acts. So that way it performs the functions of an OTO page. And so to see what it's going to show, I can come to this checkout preview right here and we can look at one time offer. So by selecting that, I can see what my page and order form will look like. And that way I can tell if I need to change anything on this particular page. So I actually do. I'm gonna go ahead and click on back here and come down to buttons right here because I need an option for people to say, no, I don't want to collect this or buy this one time offer. So right here we see this down sell link text. I can go ahead and flip that on. And you can see it says, no, I don't want this. And I can see that it's linking over to the next funnel step. And so that's just something to keep in the back of my head where these buttons and everything are going to be linking to. But at this point in time, I don't need to do anything or change anything. I just wanted to make sure that I was including a option to not accept the one-time offer. And by doing it on the form, that is one good way to do it. Additionally, if I really wanted to, I could go ahead and add an element and I could add a button, for example, and I could say something like decline special offer. And then on click, I would wanna go ahead and re redirect to next step or possibly go to another URL. So I would go, wanna go to my downsell URL and I could go ahead and then also remove this link then as well. So come back to buttons here and then I could just go ahead and turn that off. So they have rush my order or decline special offer and this would go to my downsell page. So a couple different options on how you could give the person an opportunity to say, no, I don't want your one-time offer. But in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this button and leave it as part of the form. So I'm gonna turn this thing back on and that all looks good to me. And this page should now be functional. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and we'll go ahead and back out of here. And then the next page we wanna go ahead and create is our downsell page. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one of those. So come on down here, click the plus button, and we'll create a new page. Again, I'm gonna select one of my templates that I already created. So I'm gonna use the OTO page as my starting template. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And this one is the downsell product. I could go ahead and change my page URL if I want to and page style. And I don't want it indexed in search engines because it's just a random downsell page. So We'll go ahead and do create page. And then I need to go ahead and update this page with the edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this headline real quick. So by the down sell product below, and then we'll go ahead and click on our form and settings. We're gonna change the checkout preview to the one-time offer because this is technically a one-time offer page. I know that there's upgrade and downgrade pages right here, but this is for memberships and not for OTO or downsell pages. So even though this is a downsell page, it's still considered a one-time offer. So we'll select that view and I need to go ahead and, and I need to go ahead and select my product as well. So product select edit products, add a product, and we're gonna go ahead and select our downsell product here. And so that's good like that. I can see that it already included my no link right here. So if people say no, they'll be brought somewhere. So let's come back out here and look at the buttons real quick. So I have no, I don't want this and I'll go to the next funnel step. And that seems to make sense for what I wanna do because my next funnel step is the order confirmation page. So this page looks like it will be functional. Yeah, it's not attractive and it would not convert, but it will be functional and that's what we're going for. So we'll back out of here and the next page we need to go ahead and create then would be the order confirmation page. So we'll go ahead and click on the plus button here and we'll click on page. And again, I'm gonna get, use one of my templates already. So I'm just gonna choose this down sell page. This one will be the order confirmation and we'll just call this one page path confirmation. And then I don't want it in search engines. I'm gonna use my default style. We'll go ahead and create the page and we'll go ahead now and edit this page. And I wanna go ahead and delete my checkout element because we're not actually buying anything here. So we'll delete that. And let's go ahead and change this to order confirmation. And let's add a different element. So add an element and we'll search for confirmation, confirmation. I'll put it in there like that. 
And then we can go ahead and click on settings real quick. And you can see that there's some settings we can go ahead and change like your confirmation header or products and so on. They could go ahead and customize it a little bit so it looks like how you want it to in order to match your website and all that type of stuff. But once everything's all set, we can click out of here. We'll click on save and then we will go back to our funnel. All right, so our funnel pages are all built. We have the main product and it'll bring us to the OTO page. And then the OTO page will bring us to the downsell page. And then the downsell page will bring us to the order confirmation page. Now, obviously there's kind of an issue here because we want the OTO page to bring people to the order confirmation page if they buy the OTO, right? If they say yes to the OTO, we want to bring them directly to the order confirmation page. So we need to do a redirect override to where if they say yes on the OTO page, it'll automatically go to the order confirmation page. So to do that, We'll come down here and we're gonna grab our order confirmation page link. So I'll copy it right there. And we'll come up to our OTO page and we'll edit it. And I'll go ahead and click on the checkout element settings and the buttons right here. And we see submit redirect override. I wanna go ahead and turn that on. And on submit, I wanna to go to my order confirmation page. So I'll paste my order confirmation page right in there and that should work. So I'll go ahead and click on save now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. So now if somebody buys our OTO, it should automatically send them to our order confirmation page. And now we can go ahead and actually test our funnel out. And as you can see with this message at the top, this funnel is in test mode. You can disable this from settings menu in the top right corner. So you wanna make sure that you're in test mode so that way you can test your funnel out. But if you click on settings, you can see the option for test mode here. And you could go ahead and turn it on or off. And of course, you wanna make sure that you turn test mode off when you go live and you're actually trying to sell your products or services. But we're testing, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And then I wanna go ahead and copy this link right here just by clicking on it. Or you could pop it up in a new tab, but I wanna go ahead and open a new incognito window and go to it in an incognito window. So hopefully everything is cleared. And now we'll go ahead and test our funnel out. So I need to fill in some contact information. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'll go ahead and click on next. And I need to enter some address information. So I'll go ahead and throw in an address here. For the credit card number, you can see at the top, it gives us our test credit card. So I can plug that in. So 4111111111111. For expiration date, we just have to pick sometime in the future. So I'm just gonna do that right there for our CVV. It can be anything we want. And then in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the bump product. So I'll go ahead and click that box. And I can see my order summary right here is $17, which is $10 for the main product, $7 for the bump. It all looks like it's working. Go ahead and click on submit then. And it should bring us to our OTO page. So hopefully that shows up. And I see the buy the OTO below option. So I can click on rush my order and it should bring me to the order confirmation page. Alternatively, I could decline this OTO and then it should bring me to a downsell page. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the downsell page first. So I'm gonna say, no, I don't want this. And hopefully it brings me to a downsell page. And it did, I see the downsell page right here. And now I could select yes or no right here on the downsell page. In this case, I'm gonna select yes, and it should bring me to the order confirmation page. So we'll click on it and hopefully wind up on the order confirmation page. And we are, I see that I've purchased the main product, the bump product and the downsell product. There's a summary of my order and everything else. So it looks like all that worked. I'm gonna go ahead and try again. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear my browsing data and close the windows and open a new incognito window and then copy my URL again and come back over here and test it again with some different contact information. So let's throw in a different address right here. And if you didn't know, you can go ahead and use as many email addresses as you want. If you have Gmail as your backend and other email service providers might do something similar, but you can put this plus and then whatever, and then it creates like a brand new email address and it still winds up in your same inbox. So that lets you come up with an infinite number of email addresses for you to test this stuff out. And I'll click on next. And then I gotta enter an address again. So we'll enter that address and then same credit card test info. So I'll plug that in real quick and put a date in the future and whatever CVV. I'm not gonna buy the bump product this time. We'll go ahead and click on submit and we're back at our OTO page. So now I'm gonna test this option out that if I buy the OTO, it should bring me to my order confirmation page. So we'll click on that button and make sure that it works correct. 
And there we go, direct to my order confirmation page. I can see that I bought the main product and the OTO product and everything looks like it is working. So I could of course run through the funnel a couple other times in different ways to make sure it works, but I think that you get the idea. And there are a couple other settings that I wanna quickly address. So if you hover over your page, you can see this lightning bolt right here. And this will allow you to assign a workflow to this particular page. And what a workflow is, is email marketing automation. So you could go ahead and use this funnel step to trigger an automation automation and I have another video all about the workflows so if you want to connect emails to your sales funnel watch that video to learn more about it additionally there's this menu right here so you can click this button and you could also do like a split test if you want to so you could change like your headline or your bullets or something like that and see which one converts better you could clone the page you can manage your products from here if you don't want to click into your page and edit your checkout element you could just do it right here you can also manage events. So this is like deadline funnels. And I have another video all about events. So if you want to connect like a deadline funnel or, or add a sense of urgency to your sales funnel, you may want to check out the events. You can attach a workflow. So this is the same thing as a lightning bolt option. So email marketing. You could also adjust your step setting. So I'll click on that real quick and take a look. So this is the name of this step. And then you could also change the page path right there. So if you want to make any changes, you could quickly do it right there. Finally, there is the page settings option as well. And here you could go ahead and change the name and description. You could update your SEO data and also your page URL right here and, and change the style if you want to. So just a couple more options that I wanted to point out. And finally, of course, you could go ahead and remove the page from your funnel if you wanna do that. Now, once you're all happy and ready to go, come back up here to your settings and then you could go ahead and turn off test mode. So test mode, no. And then you could go ahead and click on update funnel and your funnel will be live and you'd be able to accept credit card payments on your funnel and start making millions and millions of dollars. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyoutmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.